Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 5, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class will focus mainly on query criteria, using multiple conditions, working with different AND and OR conditions, inequalities, finding records between two values, including dates, working with null values, We'll learn about wildcards and the like keyword. Then we'll learn about parameter queries where access can prompt us for a value when we run the query instead of having to make multiple queries to look for different types of values. For example, we won't need to make 50 different queries for each state. We can just have access ask us for the state that we're looking for. This class follows Access 2010 Beginner Level 4, where we learned about field properties, database maintenance, and the find and replace function. In today's class, we will be relying on a lot of the knowledge that we learned in Level 1, Building Queries, and Levels 3 and 4, when we worked with field properties. In this class, we'll be using Access 2010. If you're using 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as the two versions are almost identical. If you're using Access 2003, you shouldn't have any problems following along with this class. The material covered today is just about the same in Access 2003. The menus are a little different. The ribbon obviously has been added in 2007 and 2010. But the concepts covered today are all pretty much the same. Now, I encourage you to actually build the database that I build in class. But if you'd like to download a copy of my database file, you can find it here, accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Today, for example, we're focusing on queries, and I've already built a customer table. We built it in Access 1. And if you don't want to have to retype all that data in, and you don't have a copy of the database yourself that you've already built, feel free to download it from my website. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My Beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums.
to get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn more about query criteria. We're going to learn about multiple criteria and using different AND and OR conditions to get exactly the data that you want to see. In lesson two, we're continuing with query criteria. We'll learn about the NOT keyword. We'll learn how to show or hide fields from the query results. And we'll learn about working with dates and times as our query criteria. In lesson three, we're continuing on with query criteria. We're going to talk about the is null and is not null keywords, the like keyword, and performing wildcard searches. In lesson four, we're going to learn about something very powerful called a parameter query. This is where you can specify a value when the query runs. In lesson five, I will answer questions from students.